Hey you guys, welcome back to the channel. Big thank you to all of the new subscribers. And for anybody who doesn't know, my name is Bruce Van Life Jr. And I live in this Chevy Express 2500 that I bought for $1,000. And yes, buying a van that cheap comes with a lot of surprise repairs and maintenance. But with some elbow grease and never giving up, this vehicle is where I call home. And along this journey of living full time in a van in Canada, and surviving some absolutely brutal winters. We make some pretty amazing friends and memories along the way. Wouldn't have been able to survive without y'all. <laughs> so come join the adventures as I bring you all along for a ride through my life. From all the good times to all the bad times and every adventure in between. On this journey, you never know what could happen next. So, let's get to it. I swear I know that van. Now time to go find me a part. G level. <laughs> Hey, but you gotta give it to Chevy though. Sticker yeah. says runs and drives. <laughs> this is the uh, camper room. So I thought I found a door, but nope. It's doing the typical Chevy hinge thing. Yeah. Mm. Wants to pry itself off the body. Next. The styling on this Econo line. I'll be sleeping on the old ones, I'm telling you. They had way more style than before. Or yeah. than now. Yeah, wake up. Sweet. Got an ashtray. 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 <laughs> Just this piece alone I'm impressed with. Dude, sit in that seat. I think Mark's in heaven with these seats, man. <laughs> Might have to take them home, hide them from Topaz until they're clean. Yeah. <laughs> the passenger's one, the passenger one isn't too bad, actually. Yeah. Now that's... Driving in comfort. Okay, look at this. Like the attention to detail on all the little things back in the day is what we're missing on vehicles nowadays. Does it drive? Nice and smooth when it stopped. <laughs> well, she still has the motor. Oh, dude, it's an older engine, too. Oh, okay, yeah. Well, yeah, this is a. Uh... It's rock and roll, baby. Score. Yeah. Well, these are cracked. Oh, you're gonna grab the other ones anyway. Yeah, you? yeah. So I'm just gonna pull these kind of out of the way so we can just get it. Get it here. Oh, a nice 
nice tires, dude. I know. Jesus. So many nice parts here, and I don't have enough money. You know, I, wish, I wish I had about 500. I'd get all the seats, all the window. I'd get everything today. Right? Yeah, I would. You can pull sponsor me. Oh. Oh. Yeah. And the AC, I got to... I gotta do so much if I want AC. Oh, really? I asked Mike, I was like, what, what are the chances of me putting, and he just was like. Pfft. Don't even think about it, right? He's like, you can you can do it, but you're gonna have to rip the whole thing apart and add all the lines and yeah. and the harness and this. The and amount that. of stuff like, you gotta remove just to run the stuff you need is. Oh, it's just like, just, just get an engine with the AC. <laughs> just get another van, man. What are you doing? <laughs> Is build a van? Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna disconnect this light. Wow, Velcro. Yeah, there's little Ooh. Velcro pieces here. Uh, I guess your screwdriver. One more, one more second. This guy is actually screwed in. I ain't never seen one that was still together. Maybe I'll grab the light. Even it's the light bulb. I, I don't like. Just uh, watch out for your dog like there so he doesn't scratch it. Like that? Like mean? that? Yeah, you got her. Sweet. What was that? Still recording? Yeah. I lost it when I was at the U wrench. It was on the lift. But it actually got some cool shots going up and down. So oh, I was really? like, all right. But when I found it, I was like, yeah, I like you guys. <laughs> yeah. And then there's one right here. Cool. That just makes it really nice and tight. Yeah. I like I like the little shit like that. Toy like a tiger. Cool, man. Cool. I hear a bumblebee around my ears, and you better back up before he gets boxed up. Watch. Hopefully nothing fell out of there. Sweet. That's so much better than mine. And mine, as you guys probably seen before, I cut a hole here for a reverse camera that I no longer have. So at least this hole is useful. guys seen we got a new headliner and then i believe it's that van right there i'm gonna steal the visors from but right now mark's gonna get his breaker bar because we found him a hitch a hitch a hitch so we could take his bike back to bc and you guys let this be a lesson because when mark came in here they said they had zero 40 counter lines in the air and we've counted at least eight so Make sure you do your own looking. There's our boy. Run, Mark, run! This is one of them glory moments where you can actually bust the nuts loose. Go, Dugga Dugga! You basically hold it and drop it now. It's got the good wiring harness. We got everything. You've got, you've got one left in there? Yeah, I got one on this side and then you got one on that side. So if you want to drop yours first, I'll hold and then we'll switch up. You got it? Yeah. I would rip my hand apart if I did that. What do you need? A uh, pair of uh, vice grips or uh, the. Uh, uh, was that channel locks? No, um, what's a crescent wrench? So I can just fit it on there. Yeah. If I can. Oh, yeah. Okay. Please, holder. <laughs> Do not let this thing like fall on me. Okay. Yeah, vice grips are needed. Okay. Nice. 
It's just a round top, that's all. Oh. Okay, you ready? All right. Grease it there. That's not that old. No, man. This was like... Hey, you can drop drop that yeah. down. I'll hold that. Yeah, I'll let you get it. No, no. I'll hold it like this while you do your side. Oh, okay. Good. Get a little bit more leverage. Sort of. Yeah. One more wire. Okay, yeah, do your thing. Try not to rip yourself in all the glass here. Right? Got all the washers, all the studs. Yeah. Got wiring areas. We win. Scratch the paint. difference already yeah i cannot wait to switch it for this guy i think right now me and marky boy is gonna go for coffee mm -hmm. <laughs> everything's gonna fit i hope i should uh well i mean for the smoking deal because it's half price day today at pick and pull 15 bucks for it 15 bucks for that price we'll drill some holes <laughs> we'll make it fit this is another thing I've been thinking about redoing on my van as well, because my roof rack is only about four feet and I've got about 20 feet of roof space. I see Mark has utilized it perfectly. So maybe that's something we can look at in the future. For right now, I'm just happy to have a headliner. Let's get these tools back in. Thank God for these carts. Plugging that tool box in would have been a pain in the butt. Think smarter, not harder, everybody. Let's get everything in. Sure, it's in there. Let's put the cart back and get going for a coffee. Think you can keep up with this guy? Oh no, gaslight. Okay, we're gonna let off. Woohoo! <laughs> Dude, I still did him. Still a child at heart. <laughs> Ooh, camper van. Bunch of campers. Cool. This is where we are in life. Oh, you guys look I finally find a good set of doors look at 
it moves. Most of these Chevy doors, they're all locked up in the hinge, just like mine. And this one's got the panel on it, pop-out window. It even has a back window pop-outs. Oh. Right now, I just found this piece, and that's the piece that I was mentioning in my last video that snapped when the ball joint snapped. Oh, why do I have to find this now? You know how many times I've come in and not seen anything? The only problem with it is if I try and take this door right now, which I need because my door is actually ratchet strapped in because the hinges right here are fully locked up and then this one is actually snapped at the body one. So in order to, for me to replace my door, I'm gonna have to cut this off the body, take the hinges from the body cut mine off my van and then re-weld the door back into place so that's a lot of work uh, but it's tempting especially on a half price deal day i just don't have the means for it right now so i'm gonna call this and the headliner a win and dream about these doors some more even the back pop-out windows, I'd really love to get that. Soon enough. It'd be nice to have. Yeah. I'm looking for, I'm also looking for a certain style transmission. My Patreoners have known about that for a while. So I am on the lookout for a certain style transmission. Uh, why are you here? Oh, I'm sorry, girl. Oh man, what a sin. So many beautiful classics. This stuff I don't mind seeing here. But these things, these are classics, man. Keep the classics. Look what this is. Tanya Tucker. Love Rock. Charles Roger Whitaker. Nice. Oh, the Beatles, 8-track Beatles. Oh. Oh. What else we got here? Elvis? Okay, so this looks like a little bit of a mess, but we know where we're going with it. <laughs> we know, trust us, we know what we're doing. So he's gonna put those studs into the frame, little buffer pads go there, and then washer, lock washer, and then double nut. You get it, you got it, let's do it. Okay, you guys, change the plans. This is why I don't do instructional videos. <laughs> yeah. But. We cannot install this because the spare tire is actually in the way and the clearance for the bumper right here. We just can't get this up in between there. So he's gonna have to find some other alternative for a spare tire holder. Maybe something right here or on the roof. But for right now. I can't even put it there because that's fucking on the freaking plate. Yeah, it is. I have to put it on this side. Has to be on that side. Shit, man. Always something, eh? Always something, lessons learned.
You getting them? Uh, gradually. You need a hand? Yep. Time to replace this. And I also got two new visors. Because as you can see, one of mine is just non existent, and the other one is rotten. And this headliner is just disgusting from the old work fan that it used to be. So I'm going to be really happy to be able to switch this out. And one day, I'll get a set of racing seats for it, and it'll be a real cool van. Oh man, you gotta try some pizza from Tim Hortons. Needless to say, that pizza didn't see us coming. And shortly after, it started to rain. Me and Mark hung out for a little while longer, and then he went to go meet Topaz and get ready for his work week. As for me, I decided to go somewhere else to end off my evening. But it was really awesome to hang out with Mark, and I look forward to seeing him a little more while he's here in Calgary. here just to end off the video but I'm gonna call it an early night tonight and end the video off there but I really appreciate you guys all watching along to this point it really means the world to me and if you do like this kind of content please hit like subscribe or share it with a friend if you think they would enjoy this kind of content as well until next time you guys remember never give up on living life because life is the most precious thing we have we'll see you guys in the next one